Uh, now, I know some of you are here to see if it's really true, you know? Making sure it's not a publicity stunt. <laughs> you know, using the bump to get a Hollywood jump. <laughs> I mean, just look at me, I'm blowing up. My career's expanding by the minute. You know, I should really be in bed in a dress like this, so foxy, whoa, yeah. But I couldn't possibly go to sleep now and miss all this excitement. Ah, oh, hosting another beam? Oh, it's much too exasperating. It's like hosting a tea party that will last a lifetime and I don't even know who's coming. Guess who? <laughs> yeah, another kind of a surprise. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and it's such a good feeling when you know it's really yours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, for the first time in my life, ladies and gentlemen, I'm carrying extra weight and not because I'm a glutton for gluten. <laughs> for the first time in my life, ladies and gentlemen, I don't have to suck it in. I feel so natural. Yeah. Natural, let it all hang out, fall out, roll out, spill out, bulge out, drop out. <laughs> like this is how I'm meant to be. Like this is how I've always been. In fact, I'm not even sure I look different. I mean, can you tell? <laughs> yeah, what's gonna, what's gonna be I mean, sure, 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 I know. I look like a bloated flamingo. And to think I'm not even from Florida. Well, now I have the flamingos <laughs> sticking out for the jokes. <laughs> You know, it's funny, no one asks if you want seconds when you already look like you have thirds. Stick around for the jokes. <laughs> I know, I must remind you of the exploded tofurkey you forgot to take out of the oven last Thanksgiving, because after all, who really knows how to cook a rubber chicken? Stick around for the jokes. <laughs> Do you speak Peacockanese? <laughs> yeah, no, it's okay. The language of my guest station. <laughs> gas station. Who could tell them apart these days? <laughs> yeah, but you know, but I shouldn't be embarrassed. You know, I've got nothing to hide. I couldn't hide enough. I tried. And why should I? I mean, after all, I'm married. We're supposed to make babies. Up until now, we've only made excuses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm gonna go excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. I'm clocked out and knocked up. <laughs> I got a bun in the oven, a bat in the cave. I'm up the duff. I'm wearing the bustle rock. <laughs> I'm producing sweet rolls by the minute. How do you like them sweet rolls, Mr. Goldstone? <laughs> Hold your hats and hallelujah, mama's gonna shout to your mama, mama, I'm gonna be a mama. Why did I do with scrapbooks filled with me in the background? Give them love and what does it get you? One quick look at your back and say, roll play, have a dream. Peacock and ease, Google it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, speaking of Google, I read the other day, uh, and I read this article and said, um, you could change your, you know when they annoyingly flash an article over and over before your eyes and so you finally click on it to make it go away? <laughs> Great practice for kids. <laughs> well, the, the title caught my attention. It said you could change your entire life by just switching one word of your vocabulary. What could I say? I'm an American. I like big results for little effort. Take conception. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> the magic word to unlock your life success is if you replace the word have with get, your life will be radically improved. I mean, it certainly changed my life. I mean, just look at me. <laughs> oh, this could be you. <laughs> In fact, ladies and gentlemen, this was you. <laughs> That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we all got here the same way. <laughs> We've all been in here before, if you know what I mean. Oh, well, they're coming the other way. I mean, who knew it would take popping out to get me fit in? So, Hollywood, y'all. Yeah? Wow, I feel so. Alfred Hitchcockette. <laughs> Since being pregnant, I get to exercise daily like I'm in a people mover marathon, stuck in the 80s, just like the ride. <laughs> Since being pregnant, I get to eat vegetables like I'm a brontosaurus. I mean, just look at me, I'm sprouting Brussels out of my arms. <laughs> Since being pregnant, I get to eat eggs like Easter was yesterday, make love like an antelope, give blood like a Red Cross ambassador, and have a nervous breakdown midlife crisis. Might as well have a baby. It's now or never a time of my life. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Google. You've made such a difference. My goodness, the results are incomprehensible. Oh, no, I almost forgot. I get a pee every three and a half minutes. <laughs> That's right, ladies and gentlemen. My uterus might be the size of a watermelon, but my bladder is the size of a pea. <laughs> Just one sip and I'm ready to drip. What a pip! <laughs> you see, tonight's show, ladies and gentlemen, won't be a triumph if I simply muster through the evening only remembering my lines and cues to do the stigmatic pregnancy brain, or baby brain as they call it, notorious for 
blank stares into the night, <laughs> waiting for ships to come in. They're coming. <laughs> PP, yes, hello, friend PP. Yes, tonight's show will be a success if I make it through the evening without peeing in my pants. <laughs> and uh, for precautionary measures, if liquid does flow, I mean, I could sneeze. <laughs> Just think, fountain they travel, throw pennies at me and make a wish. I'll be back in Rome in no time. <laughs>